Greetings friends, uh, it's me Wayman, welcome to Religion Think. This is a video going out to Reb Shlomo. Um, I'm a big fan, big fan. Um, really love your videos Reb. Uh, I agree with you a lot of the time. And uh, I really like the research that you do. And I really like uh, your ideas on uh, the Tanakh. I'm a big fan. Uh, what I wanted to say is, uh, I've been noticing that too. Um, do Christians have common sense um, in the face of um, adversity and um, the idea of end times and uh, challenges in the world? What I, what I think it is, uh, they resort to, they don't. Instead of common sense, they resort to apocalypticism. And the idea of apocalypticism, uh, what is that? And is that something that people automatically do uh, if they are uh, feel that they're not in control of what's happening and like to think that there's something out there that is in control and that'll make everything all better? Uh, well, we know. I'm, I'm not saying this to be to be mean, but uh, there there was uh, Jewish apocalyptic writers, uh, especially you know during the time when um, Babylonian Empire, especially during the, the forced Hellenization of the Jews by the Greeks, and definitely uh, during the Roman period. And also, uh, Christians faced uh, apoc uh, adversity using apocalypticism. So, uh, you know, f from way back, way back, Revelation, you could go all the way up to 1492, all the way up to where we are now. Um, you know, you have the Red Scare, you have all these books... I love apocalypticism. Uh, I love uh, collecting that material. So, do we do we substitute and uh, apocalypticism for common sense sometimes? And if we did not use apocalyptic ideas, what would they use? Um, there is uh, right now uh, environmental <coughs> apocalypticism economic apocalypticism um, and, and all that stuff um, I think that some sometimes even the government uh, wants us to, to view things in an apocalyptic way uh, in order to get us to think a certain way um, for example health care the government's pushing through a health care bill they'll come out and scare everybody and tell us what it's like not having health care uh, to cow us into voting for health care, national health care. So um, I think what's uh, pretty interesting is how and what, what do we get out of apocalypticism? Do we get comfort from apocalypticism? Do we get hope from apocalypticism? How did the Jewish people benefit from apocalyptic writers like Ezekiel and Isaiah? later Isaiah um, and on how they view themselves as a nation uh, can apocalypticism unite a group say Native Americans uh, during the um, forced assimilation process by the United States government and um, you had you had a lot of apocalypticism uh, happening there uh, during the uh, Indian removal policies of the United States government, um, they used apocalypticism to unite the tribes. So, in a way, in some sick way, it can be beneficial, and maybe in a way, it is common sense because the leaders who promote these things know exactly what they're doing. And even though for for good or for for vice or for evil. Uh, they're bringing about this end um, that either benefits people or takes advantage of them. And that's the thing. It's, it's a tight rope to walk on. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know if anybody has any thoughts on that. But I, I think apocalypticism has been going on. It's a great tool to use. And um, people use it the best ways that they can. Uh, in any way that they can to further their views and to scare people into doing uh, what certain people want them to do.
or unite certain people uh, under a cause to do what they want them to do uh, for better or for worse so uh, I don't know um, maybe I can get some replies on that um, take care friends and remember if everyone's thinking alike then somebody isn't thinking <laughs>